New tonight from the ABC 7 I team. Criminals posing as Chicago police or federal agents. As we near tax day, there's a crime wave breaking over Chicago that can bilk some people out of thousands of dollars. Investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight with more on the story. Chuck. Kathy, Ron, the phone rings. The caller claims to be with the Chicago police and demands money to prevent arrest or deportation. So far, 20,000 complaints along those lines across the country. Mostly immigrants swindled out of a million dollars by bogus IRS agents and local cops. As we head into the last weekend of the tax season, the problem builds. My mother is a citizen, but she thinks she'll always will get kicked out of the country. Sama <laughs> Aziz immigrated from war-torn Iraq and says she and her family take every threat seriously. Recently, they received calls from two men, one impersonating an IRS agent, the other a police officer. The men used detailed information about her sister's tax returns and said that she had to immediately pay back taxes or they'd arrest her. They've used information about her and her fam like her daughter and her husband. So so you wouldn't think that that's somebody playing you, like you, you think it's serious. Sama and her family hadn't heard about the tax scam and thought the callers were real. They're the IRS and Abir has to pay this amount of money. I think it was around $1,800. Um, and then a few minutes later, they get another call and, and they say, well, well the police and um, we're going to come arrest you in 45 minutes if you don't pay that amount of money. I have been uh, called probably about 12 times uh, so far. I looked up the caller on one of the calls and it said IRS under the name. Amir Shalisa's family saved recordings of threats they've received. This is Eric Johnson calling you from the IRS department. IRS department needs you to surrender yourself to the nearest IRS station or else call us. Shalisa knows members of the local Indian and Pakistani communities who have lost money to this scam because he says the warning is not getting out. It's is so much worse than you can imagine. They're going after them for thousands of dollars. I mean, it's not $10 here, $20 here. It's thousands of dollars at a time. The Cook County Sheriff's Police have opened at least a dozen cases, but Sheriff Tom Dart says the scam is so prolific, people need to stay on alert. It's growing. It's getting bigger, and we definitely see that. Shalisa quickly filed a report with his local police department. Naperville Police was awesome. They've done a great job. In fact, the detective that I spoke with said that they take, do take these complaints very seriously. They have a whole database in which they put phone numbers and names. Not all police departments are taking the threat or victims' complaints seriously, according to the Council on American-Islamic Relations in Chicago. We want the police to take this seriously. CARE Chicago has had a number of complaints that Chicago police discourage victims from filing police reports. She's like, well, we're not going to follow up with it. Even if you, even if you report it, we're not going to do anything about it un until they charge you the money. She didn't want to have, have us file the, the report, and we insisted. I don't think that the government agencies are doing enough to get ahead of the scam. This year, Naperville police have taken complaints averaging one per day. The Chicago police told the I-team they have only taken a total of 20 and added, there is nothing we can do about the problem. CARE's attorney met with the head of the police CAPS program to talk about the problem, but according to police spokesman Lieutenant Steve Sesso, quote, nothing in police procedure has changed since their meeting. Late today, though, the department sent us a public service message hot off the presses. It's not just the CPD, though. The Treasury Department and the FBI don't have community alerts posted either. The best advice, IRS never phones you, never sends an email. It's always by the U.S. Letter. mail. Okay.